Hello, is it on? Are we recording? The light is flashing, I will talk. Hello, hello and welcome to the product launch of the SRM Power Control 8 Bicycle Computer. Today we announced this product which has many of the features that you require on the bike for recording. Many modern day features. Features such as connecting to a power meter, your heart rate monitor, and you can also sometimes connect to a GPS for the following of your route and ride. I'm, so, I'm sorry, what is that Einhardt? They upload from your coach to the, to the device? No, a map. A map from the computer on your device? No, no. Your phone displays notifications you can customize the screens, but do it when you're riding the bike. It uploads via the phone fast. No, no, we, we, we don't, we don't have those features. Welcome. Welcome to today's review of the SRM PC8, Power Control 8. I challenged myself today to wear something that would embody what I was reviewing. So I wore a cardigan because cardigans have served a very important role throughout history. They've kept people warm, provided a fashionable extra to a, a blazer at, at, at times. But now even though cardigans cost a similar amount of money as they used to. They're a bit out of fashion and well, they're a bit short on, on features. I couldn't work out why nobody was asking me any questions. Why was nobody interested in finding out more about this device? A device can record your heart rate, your speed and your power. And it can't do any navigation. It doesn't have any notifications. It doesn't give you any routes. It doesn't give you any ability to upload any form of training and has an accessories list shorter than, well, smaller than the number of clients on that particular ferry. Why? Why was no one interested in this device? Oh my God, it's too hot for a cardigan. So I took it upon myself, I took it upon myself to prove to you, to prove to you that this device has a point, has a place in our electronic handlebar life. And I broke it down. I took it out. Here we are. We're back out. We're back on the PC8. I got a history with the PC8. We'll talk about that later. It recorded my heart rate, my power. It even has started recording accurately my GPS. When you're riding, you have four screens, four of them, and you can sift through all four. You can go all through the four. No, you can't, you can't change any of the data in those, no, you can't have more than four. What are you talking about? Wahoo, you just press a button on the side and it changes how many are there. Hmm. There's an interval feature, fantastic way of training. Instead of lapping your intervals or your sessions, you can use an interval and you can then go back and review details from that interval. A completely individual Garmin do the what? Garmin do the same thing. Now, you can go back and, yeah. Well, you can do it in this too. If you have a power meter with a left and a right sensor, a Favero Asioma, for example, you can discover your power balance. You could be 41 or you could be 51. Pedal smoothness, no, no, what's that? What's cycling dynamics? No, no, you've got left and right, that's all. Yep, left and right. No, I don't know what that stuff is. Talk. You can do talk. Have you got any idea how important this brand is? You wouldn't have a clue. You're off there with your wahoos and your garments uploading your content and being able to see other riders using the same device. And SRM, SRM, this device, this device powered the rocket ship to the moon. They used this. That's a fact. Go check that. Don't go check that. So what are you doing, SRM? You have cachet. You you have heritage. You, you have 
something to sell. Wahoo, Garmin, they don't have any of that. They're just marketing crap. They have nothing, they have no foundation. They have not invented anything. You have, you are the company that started this whole revolution. Are you just sitting in a little sort of German bunker and dressed up in cardigans, looking at each other, talking about torque efficiency and I think this is a dead end. Oh, oh it's a dead end. <laughs> Art imitates life. How beautifully retro cool this is. Look, look at the market this could go after. That hipster cycling crowd. This is set up for it. Look, it's beautiful. It's shiny. It's slick. It's metallic. It's got all that industrial cool thing that the kids are all about with the Leica cameras and the silvery stuff and all that kind of stuff. But you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Hipsters and all that crowd really, really love, because I'm probably one of them. They love getting online. That's where they live. They live in that space. Do you know how long it takes to upload one ride from this? I've still got, I've, it's, it's halfway through now from the ride from Wednesday. It's, maybe it'll upload, I don't know. Who knows? It just, just the little bar goes across and then it stops. Mm. Now I've owned this device for four years five years and along the way we've seen seven eight nine firmware updates which have increased the performance of this device by tiny tiny little incremental amounts to the point now to the point now where i can firmly stand here in front of you and say the gps works you're just keeping me on the hook you're just dangling the possibilities of this device out in front of me. You know that $800, $800 investment you made half a decade ago? Well, you, me, that fake Gucci bag that you walk around with like a little cycling <laughs> we're going to go. We're going we're gonna to have an exclusive SRM navigation party. I just want to be special, SRM. I just... I bought in, I want that exclusivity, I want it, I want, I want the, I want the froth, I want the, oh, what's that on the front of his handlebars, I want that, I want to be a part of it, I want to be a part of your brand, your gold, I want the stamp, I want the tattoo, give me the tattoo, just give me the tattoo. And whilst everyone is, is laughing at your interface, calling it MS-DOS or some sort of joke old interface, do you know what? Do you know who else is using those set of systems? Governments. Governments are keeping our data safe with this system. That's a fact. I don't know, it's probably not a fact. Unleash the power of this interface. Look at it, beautiful with its dashes. Look at that dash. You can't get a dash like that on a Wahoo. They wouldn't know what a dash is. Too busy with their syncing up their other files and showing you where other people are and giving you training updates. Pathetic. I still love you, SRM. I still, I still want you in my life. I, I, this is not a breakup video. I just feel like at this point, we need, we need some time apart. I feel like I need to be able to design a ride on my computer and put it on my bike computer and follow it because it might want to take me off road. I, I feel like I, I want to get a notification on my bike computer from my wife telling me to get the fuck home. And, and Klaus, I, I feel like you need some, some time apart. I feel you have a great brand. You have a great brand and it's, it's this great SRM split. On the one hand, you have this very simple and powerful technology that makes it so wonderful and over here, you have all these functions, all these functions that these other companies are doing. You don't need to do that. You don't need to. Your genius is over here. The problem, the problem, Klaus, is the functions over here don't work as well as the functions over here. And so you can't use this selling point. But it's not over for you. It's not over. Have a look around your country. Have a look around your country. You look, here's one. Here is a simple watch, a German watch. It keeps the time. It does it, does it all the time. Just keeps the time. And I know, 
and I look at that, it'll tell me the time. Just tell me the time. <laughs> this is the end of the channel. You were here. You witnessed it. You witnessed the slow demise. And welcome to the product launch. You never know. This this might be the, the, the channel might be sponsored by SRM next week. Klaus might see this and go, you know what? That that middle-aged mammal guy in Australia, he knows what he's about. And Klaus might get involved. And we'll all be writing these. I don't think that's gonna happen. What I would like to know is what is the perfect bike computer? Guys, let me know your three features for the perfect bike computer below. And don't put a computer that already exists because it's not perfect and you'd be wrong. So don't put like the Garmin 1030 because it does this. No, it's not perfect. There is no perfect bike computer out there. It might be this next week when they do another firmware update, but it's not it right now. But I tell you what, I'm gonna do a video about the perfect bike computer because I think about this stuff way too much. Way too much. This did power the, the shuttle to the moon though, so. All right, it's the end of the channel. So we're just on a west sort of bike path route and just to let you know, so we are trying to avoid the T-way. So Aaron Paul gave us, well, gave Jesse a suggestion, popped it into his Wahoo and what do you know, we're following the route and all things are good. No, you can't do that on the PC-8. I can tell you what my max torque has been thus far, Jesse. Yeah, that's what that be. But, uh, oh, okay, you want to know? How many newton meters? How many Newton meters? Uh, 108 newts. Wow. Yeah. So, hmm. But look, that's that's a big feature for me. 